So, the Polish National Final is beginning on Saturday after a slight delay, and I'm here with one of the 10 acts, Martin Fitch, and he'll be competing with the song Fight For Us. We're standing at the edge of light, and you know it's not right. It's not right. I'm gonna fight for us. How are you, Martin? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Hi. Good. And if you think he looks a little bit familiar, that's because he's already represented Poland back in 2010 with the song Leganda. And yeah, so you're back. And firstly, what made you want to return to Eurovision and the national final? Well, the, the song which I wrote, um, Fight For Us, is a song which, which, which tells about, tells a story. Um, it's a great story about about passion, about music, about love, but as well about about us. You know, every day we have to fight for each other, and we have to fight for us. Um, we always have to try our best and and never stop believing in our dreams. And I guess that's very important. And and I want to share it with with people. And anyway. Um, Coming back to Eurovision is it's very important to me as well because I love Eurovision and I've, I've always loved Eurovision. Um, I've been watching it since since I was I was eight. So every year I was watching Eurovision, and when I was so young, I was dreaming that I'll be on that stage. You know, it happened in 2010, um, but I I'm, I'm still you know not not completely not completely happy, and and I still want to go back. <laughs> Amazing. We're always happy when people want to do it again. So, obviously you wanted to share Fight For Us with the world and that's why you submitted it to the selection. Um, what does Fight For Us mean to you personally? Because like you said, it's got some very empowering lyrics, it's a song about you know, togetherness. And what does it mean to you personally when you're writing this song? Well, when I was writing the song, um, it's, it's actually a song which, which, which came up in March to my head and I wanted to, I wanted to write the song um, about the world, about what's happening right now, um, to share a good vibe as well, because <laughs> I think that I think there are so many terrible things happening around the world right now that uh, people feel a little bit down. You know what I mean? And I want to encourage people to to, to fight for themselves because it, it's very important that that everybody's having a voice to say, I don't like it, I want it, I I, I don't want it. Um, and that song is is a very strong song um, about actually personality as well, you know, to to never to, to never give up and and be happy who we are um, and fight for it, fight for our freedom as well, you know. It's 2017. We can travel around the world, and somebody's trying to to bring us down, you know, and tell, okay, you can't do this. You should not go there. You should not do this. This is not okay, <laughs> and as the, as the lyric, lyrics of the song says, it's not right. It's not right, um, and yeah, that that was the, that was the reason. Um, when I'm when I was writing the song, I was as well thinking about uh, Australia and, and and traveling around Australia. It was an amazing experience, and to see the wildlife, and to see you know how how people respect each other in this country, for example, um, and I want it for us as well. Perfect. And um, so obviously some acts, they pick think of the lyrics first or the music and then they find lyrics to match it. Which came first because it's got very good, heavy guitar influence and then the chorus is very drum orientated. So was that the lyrics came first and you built the music around it or did someone send you a backing track first and you put lyrics to the song? Well, that was, that was actually both together at the same time because I was working with my producer and we were writing the song together um, and yeah that's how it happened you know starting slowly then the lyrics came up and then we knew which direction the song is going so the drums the are are very powerful as you say so they are very powerful for the for the chorus so they're more like 
encouraging people, you know, <laughs> that we have to fight. Awesome. And regardless of the result on Saturday night, what are you hoping that the Polish public and the international fans that will be watching will take away from the song? Well, most of all, I want people not to be afraid anymore. <laughs> I want people. I want people to actually to to think about their life. You know, to to listen to that story and think, okay, what I have to change in my life, what I have to do in my life to to make it better, which part of my life I don't like, and just. Just do it, you know, because <laughs> there is no time. We have only one life and we have to do it. We have to, we, we should never be afraid. If we really believe in something, we have to follow our dreams. And that's the most important story. And that's that's what I want from people when they listen to that song, that they they stop being scared. They just, they just do it, that they be happy in their life. Amazing. So it's going to jump back to Eurovision 2010 now. Obviously, you said you went in Oslo with the song Laganda. Looking back seven years on, is there anything differently you'd have done with the song, or were you happy with what you put out there on the stage, regardless of the result? Well, I would change everything right now. <laughs> you know, it's been it's been it's been seven it's been seven years. I've changed a lot, and living in the UK right now as well is it's completely different. You know, it, it working with so many amazing people, learning from these people, learning as well from from traveling around the world. Uh, it's it's very important because people are changing and if we always think that people are the same like we used to know them before it's not true every day we try to well i try to every day i try to improve myself i, I try to be better and as i said i never give up so this song fight for us is absolutely a song about me amazing and how would you say your music and your singing has developed since Eurovision 2010? Would you say it was a learning experience for you and it helps find who you are as a singer now? And what would you say has caused your development over the last few years? Well, you tell me, am I better or not? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but honestly, like, like my life is, is like, like a book, you know? It's like every, every day I try to bring more to this book and, and try to learn from it. Try, try to learn from the experience um, and I, I hope it works <laughs> you tell me <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll find out on Saturday night I guess and in your original in general do you have any standout songs that you love always go back to and listen and what inspired you to enter your original and keep watching it like I said because you've watched it for so many years what stands out for you for Eurovision well uh, Jamala last year she, my my friend from Kiev, um, I met her in 2011 on one of the concerts in Ukraine, and that day I was like, oh my god, this girl is an artist, I love her so much. So I was very happy that we we were in touch as well with Jamala. So when I heard that she's got coming back, you know, for the uh, national finals in Ukraine, and I heard the song, I was like, that's the winning song. She's gonna win it. She's absolutely going to win it. And then, you know, being on the on the on the on that stage on Eurovision stage, it gave me so much inspiration that that you, if you follow your dreams and work hard. You can do it. You can absolutely smash it, and she did it. Uh, she's an artist. She's an artist, and you know sometimes if you think about actually, if it was an Eurovision song, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was it was a very high level artistic, a bit alternative song, which won the Eurovision Song Contest, which shows that this contest is developing as well, it's changing so much over the past years. Because so artistic uh, songs and so many artists coming to this competition from all over Europe and Australia, um, this, is, this is amazing, you know, it, it shows that people really care and people watching Eurovision do care as well because they follow the artist and the Eurovision brings more and more viewers every year. So it only shows that it's going the right direction. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just going on to what you said about um, following the artists. Obviously last August you performed in King's Cross. You performed with You Decide finalist Carl William Lund. Um, you both got an amazing reaction to your duet of Colour of Your Life. Uh, how does it feel that all those years on 
you're still recognised and you're still enjoyed as an artist for people within the Eurovision community? Well, it's been, it's been seven years and I must say that the the feedback from, from the audience is absolutely amazing and thank you guys for that. Um, that's that, that's amazing that you still remember me, <laughs> even you did, even you didn't like my performance, you know, even you didn't like my apples. But it shows that you, I don't know, it, I, I don't know. I'm so happy. I'm really grateful, actually, and and, and thank you for that. Thank you. Um, I I, I received so many messages on Facebook or or emails or or messages on my Instagram as well from you, and that's that's. You know, such a huge support. You, you, you're telling me that you're waiting for me to come back. The, the, my comeback is, as well, a little bit because you asked me to. So I'm like, I'm back, yeah. <laughs> and also, on the day you did announce your song and that you were competing, um, Carl William Lund took to Instagram and said that he is working with you for a song on your album coming later this year. Is there any more you can tell us about the album and what it is like to work with Carl as well as an artist? Because like yourself, he is a song singer-songwriter and submitted his own song to Eurovision You Decide last year. Well, absolutely. My album is coming out in May 2017, so very soon. Um, Carl is amazing. <laughs> I love working with Carl. He's, he's, he's such, a, such a sparkle, you know, he's like always shining and always, always so friendly and so nice. And his support as well means a lot to me. Um, he's an amazing songwriter, that's another thing and fantastic singer so working with here with him is actually like an honor you know <laughs> and um that's another thing you know we we became very good friends as well after after the king's cross um uh, concert uh and you know working that, that's that's another thing eurovision brings people together uh, from all over the world and that's that's very important to you know to to, to be still and never say, okay, I'm ashamed of taking part in Eurovision. And so many artists do after they, they don't succeed in Eurovision, which is terrible because it's like, I love Eurovision, you know, I could never say that I'm ashamed. I can say like, okay, my, my, my 2010 performance wasn't good. I didn't like it. it it's, it's, it was not the way I would do it now. But I would never say that I'm ashamed of your revision. It's like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's one of the best things ever happened to me. Amazing. And also last year you had a song release called You and I that was say a bit more of an upbeat, sort of like, not disco, but more of an up-tempo song. And obviously Fight For Us is more of a stripped back, more powerful song. Which style would you say you prefer more? Are you more of an upbeat person or are you someone who really focuses in and on the message and something more powerful and dramatic? Well, I, I wouldn't call the song dramatic either, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but it has yeah it has some message as well. But I wouldn't call it dramatic. But um, I think I think both. You know, it's like it's a little bit as long as it's me, as it's as it's Martin Fitch who wrote the song, who feels the song that way. As long as it tells my story, then you know. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> so it, it's my song, uh, uh, and 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 I'm so happy to sing it, and I'm so happy to perform my own songs. And that's another thing. When I moved to London, it completely opened my mind as well, and and I started writing my own songs, and and I'm so happy to share it with the world. Amazing. And also, I don't know if you've heard any of the songs that have already been confirmed for Eurovision 2017 or not, but if you have, do you have any standout songs which could be your competitors in Kiev if you go there? <laughs> well, um, not not really. Um, that's another thing for me. I, I, I'm, I never try to compete with anyone because that brings some kind of bad energy, you know? It's like if you try to compete with anybody, it means that you have to be like, okay, you have to fight, but not in the in the good meaning fight. You know, my song is about the good meaning fight, about, about you know standing for, for for yourself, for to fight for your love, to to you know to, to to do something for yourself. And fighting like competing, it isn't really isn't really good because that's bad energy. So actually, I'm very happy if anybody from my friends or not friends success, because because that's very important that people support each other. And I absolutely support everybody who is taking part in, in Eurovision. 
because because that's why we're watching it. We want to see them succeed, you know, like we want to see them having success and, and being being, you know, amazing and, and spotless and being happy actually that something good happened in, in their career and, and to listen to good songs. So yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for everyone. Brilliant. And just finally, obviously with you and I, you released that in Polish as well as English. Did you ever think of releasing Fight For Us in Polish for the selection or a bilingual version or was it solely always going to be an English version for the selection? That would always be an English version, that would always be a song in English. Um, there's going to be just two songs in English on my Polish album. There is going to be another album which is going to be fully in English as well. Same songs but fully in English. Um, but Fight For Us was always meant to be in English. Okay, perfect. And just as a final thing, what would you like to say to your Polish fans, your international fans, everyone who watches and supports you over the last seven years? Well, thank you very much for your support. <laughs> thank you for being, very much for, for being in touch with me, for letting me know what you think about about my songs. Um, thank you very much for following me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, on Twitter. That's that's really great. I, I love getting messages from you, and I love answering to all messages. As long as I have some time, I always try to be try to be in touch with you as well. And thank you for that. Um, yeah, vote for the best song you think would represent us in, in, in Kiev. The thing that I'm trying to, to promote myself right now and say, go, vote for me. No, vote for the song you think is going to be the best and going to represent our country the best. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be the Polish representative and I'm absolutely behind that person and crossing my fingers. If it's going to be me, I promise I'm going to do my best. Amazing. And that is Martin Fritsch, one of the 10 competing acts for Poland this weekend. If you do think his song Fight For Us should be representing Poland, then pick up the phone and vote for Martin. Thank you for your time, Martin. And Thank the you very best much. of luck on Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>